Hey, what can I say? I'm really happy to be back here again, Tapachula, Chiapas. Ah, I never thought I would say that. I mean, we spent 11 months here and we're just struggling with the damn boat. <laughs> so, I'm back. Karen, she's still back in Sweden, so I have to survive without her for a while. Uh, right now, I'm uh, heading out to the marina. I, ar I arrived actually yesterday, but I just took it easy and uh, didn't do very much. So, uh, it's about 10 o'clock now this morning. And, um, yeah, everything is pretty easy now, because I know where everything is. I know where the bus goes, and I know where the marina is, and I know where to shop. So that's pretty convenient, actually. So, let's go and check out the boat. So, back on the same bus stop again. Yeah, looks pretty much the same. Well, what can change is like six months. Not that much. Uh, well, got some bad news. I just walked up and bought some orange juice from one of the guys we usually stop at. And I asked for the burrito man. He was dead. I don't know if he was killed or what happened, but damn. He was a happy guy, I mean. So it was a, it was a little bit sad start of my day. Damn burrito guy. It is pretty crazy this, being back again. I mean, it was a while, but I mean, it felt like yesterday. It's pretty unreal. So, let's check out the boat and go to say hello to everybody. And there she is. Ooh. Gives me goosebumps just to look her and I look at her now. I just opened the, the hatches to um, to vent her, and she's a little bit uh, dirty at the moment, and uh, so she needs a clean a clean up. Because um, everywhere you go, your your feet just absorbs all the the dirt. Yeah, everything where well, what I could see inside looked good. No water that had uh, come in anywhere. Or, so that feels really good. Well, I've not been here full day and I have actually not done a lot since I got here. So, why did I even come here today? Well, of course, I wanted to check out the boat and feel comfortable that nothing had happened during our six months in Sweden. And so far I have not seen anything that should make me sleepless. So, tomorrow I might start a, um, a cleanup. I don't know if you see it, but the boat is pretty dirty actually. Um, and with the uh, super white as we have, you can really see it. Um, but that's for tomorrow. Uh, right now I think I need to check out some hotels. So, let's head to Puerto Madero. <laughs> been here a while in Mexico. I mean, I arrived on Tuesday and I haven't done a lot yet, but I have to take it a little bit easy so I don't get burned out. Um, yeah, this is my room, like you can see. It's a lot of baggage and stuff. And I actually found some friends that I brought with me from the boat, so... Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, you see them here. <laughs> I've actually fumigated the the boat just to get rid of uh, like spiders and things like that. But yeah, I think I need to fumigate the um, the room as well because what I brought in was probably some small creatures has probably joined me up to the hotel. So, um, and yeah, um, heading out to the marina. I got my breakfast. I got my breakfast. Yeah, I'm here now waiting for the taxi to, to go. And it's always, uh, they need a full cab before they leave. So depending on uh, at what time of day you're leaving, sometimes you have to wait. I think my record is like 
35 40 minutes but that's like around lunch so usually it's around, around this time you might need to wait maybe five or ten minutes at the, minutes at the most so hopefully it's leaving soon so it's monday today and on monday i said well let the work begin. So I've been here almost a week. Let the serious work begin. And today, well, you can say I start with a very serious work, but still, I need to change some uh, uh, connectors on, on the um, extension cord. Well, it had to be done, otherwise I won't get an electricity. Because they were broke when I got here. Well, not that surprised. Um, yeah, so let's start with that. So when we left, I mean, we need to cover a lot, and uh, we also covered our bikes. So when you cover something, it's also a shelter for other small creatures to get into. So this was this was where we um, had our bikes with a tarp over it, and without tarp now, yeah, I have to be so careful because there was so uh, so one scorpion and two very fast spiders that ran uh, towards me. I have no idea what creatures there were, but. It looked pretty big and scary, so that's why I'm uh, cleaning the bike. Back on the deck again, and with, you know what, it's epoxy, so let's continue with epoxy again. I don't have that much left to do with epoxy, so I'm pretty happy with that. So these are the hatches I'm installing. It's one there, and one there. So I cut it up today. Um used an uh, oversized drill and filled that with epoxy just recently. And tomorrow when it's cured, I'm drilling it up uh, to fasten the, um, the hatch. It's gonna be a good storage area um, for, I don't know, lines, fenders, maybe some light wind sails like spinnaker. Um, yeah, we'll see. And when they're in, they look like this. So... One new hatch and another new hatch. Well, successful project. Can't complain. I'm happy. Oh, well, it's about uh, 8 15 now in the morning. And I've just eaten my breakfast. And uh, this is usually what I eat for breakfast some bread. Some Philadelphia cheese and some fruit. I always have it here by the boat, so it feels nice coming here. I just take it easy for maybe half an hour or so. Well, maybe it doesn't look that organized, but I mean, <laughs> I had to collect everything uh, that was in the boat. So, yeah, I made another shelf on the, under the table. And, uh, oh, yeah, <clears throat> I also have some things over here. Uh, I mean, I spread my things everywhere. I don't know how popular it is, but yeah. So here I got some things. Oh, yeah, that's the old, the old wind glass. There's chain plates, probably gonna be replaced. What else? Oh, in here we got the water maker. Yeah. So I'm trying to organize and see what I have and yeah so right now there's like nothing in the boat not even one cable and that's pretty good I also been working on this um, so I glassed um, um, I glassed this this is foam and then I also added a new piece here of wood and glass that in with epoxy and fiberglass. So there was some work to do that as well. Now it's more or less um, ready and just need some, uh, some smaller holes and things like that. The mass looks pretty boring and um, it's been painted before but the previous owner um, took the paint off because it was flaking and it was just bad 
uh, was painted black so it had faded as well <clears throat> so yeah so I think I'm gonna paint it white and to do that I need to take off all the um, all the fittings the whole um, all the mass tanks um, has been taken off um, yeah these are more or less off Here are some parts of taking off and um, yeah to paint it I more or less need to take everything off. Well this is my calculations and my notes for the mass, the different kind of uh, angles and um, and um, lengths. So yeah, f uh, far from uh, done with it yet so. Uh, but yeah, I'm working on the mass and what needs to be replaced. Actually what a lot of you maybe don't know who is a little bit into sailing is this uh, this um, um, head furler is actually not any wire inside here so the foil itself is actually the um, the forestay so there are no seams on the um, on the whole um, foil here or extrusion so that's pretty odd actually. It's called Stearns and um, was popular like in the in the 80s. So I haven't really decided if I'm gonna replace it or not. So and this is the <clears throat> and this is the aft cabin. So here I've um, glassed in the, some bulkheads and stringers, uh, <clears throat> and it's also been glassed up there that bulkhead or whatever you should call it. Um, was not glassed when we left, so <clears throat> I've done that. And yeah, as you can see, it's also been sand. I've also been sanding a lot, and that's really what I'm working on now. So it's yeah, sanding, sanding, preparations for paint. It's pretty dusty inside, I have to say. Um, there's a lot of sanding going on. So what I've done, what else have I done in here since, uh, oh, sometimes you just forget about, it. yeah, so you see that hole and that hole are new, so that's where the water tanks were before, so there will be no water tanks, so I just cleaned it yesterday actually, <clears throat> and that's a new floor, um, it's been sanding, sanding, sanding here. And here, I'm taking up a bigger hole and uh, glassed everything inside there. So, this is the new, um, the new chain locker for the chain. So, it will go from up here somewhere, there, through a tube, down here, and we'll have a um, <clears throat> A bilge pump uh, to empty all the water that comes in. Yeah, so the through holes is going new, uh, going out as well now. So I just took out um, uh, the big one. Where was that? The big one. Oh, Ooh. here. So I just took that out. And uh, <clears throat> this valve as well. I mean, it's uh, it's a super nice uh, Greco valve, but it was very tough and hard to pull. And I mean, I've been buying all these uh, uh, composite ones from uh, <clears throat> from True Design. I'm gonna replace everything with. So I was I was planning to replace them anyhow. anyhow so but it's not too many. It's one there. It's one up there. I'm probably gonna add one as well. And then there's um, above the water line. Oh, So today is Thursday the 20th of December, so I've been here five weeks actually. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with what, I've, uh, what I have done so far. Uh, 
everything takes longer than you expect and I expected that so that's in the calculations um, yeah I mean the first week I said I was gonna t take it easy so I didn't do a lot I checked out the boats everything was uh, all right and uh, I emptied the boat and brought the things to the hotel and um, what else did I do yeah sort of and I started with that uh, with the deck hatches up on the Akas, on the front Akas. Um, and then the second week, yeah, of course, I got sick. So I couldn't work 100%, so I worked maybe like 30%. Well, better than nothing, so I got the, uh, yeah, I got some done. And after that, uh, yeah, third week was pretty good progress. And then the fourth week, I started to get into it. And fifth week, yeah, here we are now. And uh, the fifth week has been like not super efficient. Uh, we are out of electricity for like three days, so I had to come up with other things to do. So I was working on the mast. And um, what else did I do? Now, yeah, so yesterday I went to Home Depot to buy some more plywood. Of course, they were out of the plywood I needed. So I had to come up with other things to do. That's usually how it is. You cannot just uh, have one task. Uh, you have to have a lot of different things to do so you can jump uh, jump between them. Um, yeah, so right now I'm into a sanding mode. I've been sanding for like a week. Uh, and I have more sanding to do. I'm waiting for, me for more epoxy action to come. Um, so the epoxy is probably arriving um, in a couple of days. So I need that for the inside to uh, to do some fairing. Yeah. So all the sanding and the preparations are for the new finish. Uh, I haven't really decided what to put on yet. If I'm gonna paint, if I'm gonna put some kind of formica or vinyl film on. Really into sanding now. It's a shitty, shitty, shitty job, but it has, has to be done. So. Too bad. Well, pancakes for dinner and pancakes for lunch tomorrow, and probably pancakes for breakfast. That's how it is when I'm cooking here. It is taco with a lot of veggies and some Philadelphia cheese. It's really awesome. And of course I made a pico de gallo. Mm. And, and of course, for lunch today, what could be better than pasta? Yes. Gracias. Yeah, right now I'm waiting for a cab. I'm into Tapachula. <clears throat> Just had my morning coffee at Starbucks. That's pretty good. I mean, it's hard to find a good place to find a good coffee here. I haven't been drinking coffee for like forever, and they would just open this Starbucks, so I'm pretty happy. Although I'm not in Tapachula that often, so can't get it that often. Well, anyway, I'm heading for um, Estafete. Uh, courier service and I need to uh, uh, get my package I've been waiting a long time for the epoxy I thought it came like yesterday but it was another package so and now Christmas is coming up uh, in a couple of days uh, so I can't wait uh, for them to deliver so I'm going to Tapachula to pick it up on my own instead so I mean sometimes you're just getting so damn annoyed so I we got here and we found the package, but it's not my, my name on the package, it's Karen's name. And if Karen who addressed it to herself, or if the, the one who sold it addressed it wrong, I don't know. Oh, fuck. So I had to go back to uh, the Marina without the package and waiting for delivery on Wednesday, and today is Saturday, so 
Uh, I don't know if I have things to do on the boat till Wednesday. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Well, I got some plywood. So, better than nothing. I mean, it was a little bit frustrating. Don't get in, don't, not getting the epoxy. I mean, I really need it now. So I'm just about to start some projects with it. So I'll have to find some other tasks to do.